All right. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Um, first of all, thank you all for coming out to Abstract Austin today. We're super happy to be a sponsor of this. And Agoric has done an incredible job. Amazing venue, amazing event so far today. Um, I want to keep this around 10 minutes, so I'll kind of you know be pretty short here. But what I wanted to do is kind of go through um, our vision of chain abstraction and how we see chain abstraction within the ecosystem from particle networks perspective. And we believe we have somewhat of a unique perspective on the vertical, um, which you know, like Anthony mentioned, we have uh, been actually writing some articles with some other industry players about. Um, so I guess first of all, what I want to do is quickly introduce myself. Um, my name is Ethan, although I go by the alias Tabasco online. Um, and I do developer relations at Particle Network. I've uh, been working at an RPC provider when I first started, and then I joined Particle actually just back in September. So I've only been here for about a year. Um, what we're going to do today is take about 10 minutes to first talk about why Web3 needs chain abstraction. So I'm sure you guys have heard plenty about this today, but I want to really kind of hammer that in. Um, we're going to define chain abstraction, which I think is one of the major missing things at the moment in terms of actually understanding what chain abstraction is from having like a formal definition and mental model around it. I think a lot of the time people use a term a little bit loosely, so I'm going to try to provide some kind of definition around that, which we're also writing an article about at the moment. Um, then we're going to talk about the kind of collaborative approach to chain abstraction, the non-competitive nature of the vertical, as well as kind of what we're building to do this at Particle Network. So first, what I want to kind of, you know, cover here is that UX is actually not as big of a problem as I think some people make it out to be in the space. In the silo of one application, whenever you're sticking within one app, UX can actually be really good. You can have social logins, session keys, account abstraction to where users can get into an application with basically two clicks into a smart account do gasless transactions, not have to do any pop-ups, and this is a pretty good user experience. I mean, you can make applications today that feel like Web 2. I think people don't realize this that much, where like the tooling is all there, and it's uh, actually quite solid, and you can make some really cool applications, and a lot of applications have been made under this model where users can log in with either their MetaMask, kind of Walt Connect, stuff like that, or social logins, and then they get into a smart account. They kind of have full gasless transactions and stuff like that. The issue, though, is that this is siloed. So what you have here is you have the application, you have the chain that it's on, and you have your balance on that chain. So this kind of model does not apply well to the entire ecosystem. The UX of the ecosystem level is, is pretty terrible at the moment. Because I'm in this application, I onboarded this application with my social login, for example, or my MetaMask wallet, and I want to use this, uh, this balance that I initially deposit across application B and application C. But this maybe isn't possible, or if it is possible, it's slow, you have to manually bridge, um, it's expensive sometimes. And users not only need to do this manually, they need to like manually move their funds across chains to use other applications, right? But they also need to be cognizant of their balances on different chains. So now I've moved my UCC from application A to application B, and okay, I have UCC over here, so now I have to move it to a com completely different chain if I want to use chain or application C, this is just a lot that we ask for users, and I talked about this on the panel earlier, and I think this is really one of the major UX problems in Web3 at the moment. We've solved like the vast majority of the friction that users have faced historically in Web3, onboarding, transacting, having flexible account structures, but really one of the major blockers is that Web3 is incredibly complicated at the ecosystem level. And actually, account abstraction sometimes makes this worse. So I think at Particle Network, we've been an account abstraction provider for a long time. We're one of the largest account abstraction ERC-4357 infrastructure providers in the ecosystem, actually the largest by user operations. But I, I won't deny that actually account abstraction has made a lot of this fragmentation even harder to solve. Because when you have smart contract wallets that you deploy on one chain, these actually don't have parallel states on all chains. So now if I deploy this again on another chain and I, let's say, change the state of the smart contract wallet on chain A, then now it's not par there's no parity with its state on chain B because there are contracts. So t account abstraction actually introduces a lot of complexity to this, especially within the ERC-437 standard. And this is where I have to go and manually deploy or update account instances across every chain that I'm using. It's more expensive. It's harder to do. So this is actually a bigger problem as well. So we're not only moving to this sort of like modular scaling thesis where we're, you know, building more app chains, but also account abstraction is proliferating, which is making the problem even harder to solve. So of course this kind of leads to the question, you know, how do we fix this fragmentation? How do we create an ecosystem that feels far more ready for consumers and solves one of kind of these longest standing points of friction, which is the lack of parity between chains and um, of course kind of users needing to manually manage multiple chains and their balances within it. 
So this is chain abstraction. Of course, you guys have heard this term and, and what chain abstraction is multiple times today, um, you know, for the past few hours. But actually, we're going to be kind of shortly in the next few weeks providing a formal definition of chain abstraction. We're working with Connects and a few other guys to kind of build an article that tries to present a formal definition of the ecosystem. Because one of the big problems of chain abstraction is that people don't really know what it actually means. Um, there's a lot of different definitions that people have. If you ask everybody at this event today what is chain abstraction, you're going to get a lot of different answers. So the like to be determined term, we haven't finalized this yet, but I wanted to include it here anyways, is that chain abstraction can kind of be defined as a vision or an experience. And I really like the way that Connects proposes this. I mean, they were the first to come up with the term. Chain abstraction, in our opinion, is very simply just the consolidation of interaction across separate chains into a single user experience. So users not having to manually interact, maintain balances, maintain accounts across different chains, it's all within one UX. So this is really how we see chain abstraction, and I think this applies to most projects building within it today. So this is how you can understand chain abstraction. This is the solution to all those problems that I just mentioned a moment ago. So under a chain abstracted ecosystem, whenever you have implemented this idea of consolidation of interactions across multiple chains into a single user experience, this is what you have as a result. Users onboard into an application using anything, their Google account, Twitter account, email, or their typical Web3 wallets, and they can use all these applications just as if they were using Web2 applications. Their balance is actually unified and sort of an underlayer of all these apps. So there is no difference in, uh, in balance and account state across application A, B, C, and D, even if these applications are all on different chains. And this is really important. This is a part of UX that is missing today. And this is really the goal of what we want and what we're trying to build towards at Particle. And for developers, this also becomes uh, pretty interesting because now you can seamlessly orchestrate across different chains and applications are no longer bound to one chain. And I talked about this during the panel as well, where there's a very interesting scenario now for developers where they can build an application that is truly chain agnostic, where they can orchestrate transactions and move funds and move liquidity and interact with applications, other contracts and whatnot, across every chain. There isn't one chain that they need to confine themselves to or a small group of chains that they need to confine themselves to. It's uh, very much universalized in a sense. And this changes the entire dynamic for developers and allows them to create much more kind of universal chain agnostic and kind of chain abstraction aligned applications. So this is uh, actually a graphic that we made for the piece that we did with the Gork. And I just wanted to include this here briefly because it sort of provides a good visualization of the current ecosystem versus what we call the layered chain abstraction ecosystem, which I'm going to get to in a moment. Um, but and with the current ecosystem, we have multiple different balances, multiple different accounts across multiple different chains on applications that are confined to one or two chains, which those chains can also inherently be somewhat incompatible with one another. So like, this is the current ecosystem, and this is what we don't want, because this is where all these current problems come up. So what we want is an ecosystem that has layered chain abstraction. So chain abstraction that exists at the account level. So we have balances that exist across every chain. And chain abstraction that exists on the application level. So developers can build chain agnostic applications that also exist across every chain. And this is really important. This is really the whole kind of point of the layered approach to chain abstraction that we have been pushing for the past few weeks. So the whole reason we kind of came up with this idea of a layered approach to chain abstraction is because we really want to hammer in the point that chain abstraction is collaborative and not competitive. Um, chain abstraction is a collection of solutions that all contribute to the acquisition of this big ambitious vision that we all have. It's not necessarily one solution that will achieve it and that's the end of the chain abstraction race. We don't think that there is a race. We think that it really is multiple solutions that will work together and be interoperable to achieve this. Um, which I really like kind of the term that I think Celestia kind of coined it. It's modularism, not maximalism. Um, so I really like that kind of philosophy and I think it fits pretty well with chain abstraction. So a few kind of implementations of this idea of a layered approach. The first really big one was from Frontier Research, the CAKE framework. This was kind of the first framework and mental model for understanding the different types of technologies that will kind of compose chain abstraction. So if you haven't read this, I definitely recommend it. It's really good. Um, then what we proposed with Agoric is this layered chain abstraction framework, which focuses more on chain abstraction specific solutions. So solutions and organizations who are specifically building for chain abstraction and how you can categorize their products. So we have this at the blockchain level with things like Polygon's Ag Layer or Optimism Superchain. You have the account level with Particle Networks Universal Accounts. And you have the application level, which can be categorized as orchestration with things like the Agoric Orchestration API. So that said, I want to quickly kind of highlight, you know, our approach to this um, at Particle Network. So what are we doing at Particle Network to contribute 
to um, chain abstraction. So the way that we do this is through something called universal accounts, which exists at the account level of chain abstraction. So kind of that middle point that users interact with, uh, kind of to unify their balances and interact with all different chains with a parallel account state um, and sort of means of interaction. So before universal accounts, you have this issue, which I showed the slide earlier. This is a typical ERC-437 smart account. You have to deploy across every chain. You maintain different balances across every chain. It's, uh, it's pretty difficult to use as a user. With universal accounts, this changes pretty significantly to where now you have unified account state across every chain. You deploy your smart account one time, and you have it that exists across every chain. And your balance also simultaneously exists all across all chains. So you don't need to do any bridging anymore. You don't need to maintain different balances. You can use any application that has our SDK integrated without needing to bridge. So this basically removes the notion of multi-chain balances for many users to where now they basically have one point of access to every application within the ecosystem. I won't get too far into this because I only have about a minute left, but this is sort of the uh, composition of how our universal accounts and our universal gas works and a few other things that we're working on. We're basically producing a Cosmos chain that will act as a like, central coordination layer for universal accounts, this account framework, um, and we have a diff few different components of how this will work. Ultimately, what we're trying to do here is sort of create a very solid user experience that users can onboard with any wallet, any social login, go to an application, and have one balance that spans every chain. So one account, one balance in every chain. This is what we're building at Particle Network. Thanks, guys.